Video three of 10, cheating in relationships. Oh my God, I'm totally outside my comfort zone with this topic because um, I'm a big cheater. No, I'm only joking. <laughs> Very giddy mood. I'm not a cheater. I'm not a cheater. I'm all for um, removing yourself. Good morning, Kira. Removing yourself from a situation if you know you're gonna cheat because why lie, man? Why lie? And um, I know it's not, um, I know it's not black and white, you know, and I, I understand that. So I'm not even going to go there because everybody's situation is unique. Uh, so sending love to all the cheaters, because I know that's painful too. <laughs> and sending love to the people who've been, who have been cheated on or are being cheated on. But here's what I want to say. <laughs> I want to say that. If you're in a relationship with somebody and you feel threatened by somebody else and you're hating on that person that you feel threatened by, um, that's not where it's at. It's inside your relationship. You want to be in a relationship where you feel safe and where you trust that person. The external person, forget about them. And, and so this is what kind of surprises me when people think the external person outside the relationship is the baddie because they're tempting their partner. No, your partner is the one that, if you can't trust them, why do you want to be with them? If that's if you want to be in a relationship where, what do you call it? Is it like a monogamous relationship? The other alternative is, of course, if you guys have an agreement. So then there's trust because there's no lies, right? But, um, you know, if, uh, if you were thinking, well, that person is the baddie because they're tempting my partner, Think again, think again, um, because really, if you want to be free, let go of that fear and just decide, join my GLAD program, work on yourself, decide that you're going to focus on inner contentment because you're not going to get your joy and your freedom from somebody else anyway. Your joy and your freedom comes from inside, from working on yourself. So then it becomes less you fear it less that somebody's going to steal your partner because if you are with a partner for that feeling of safety get honest with yourself get honest with yourself that um god i hope this is coming across uh, that i'm making sense here because it's a really important point get honest with yourself about why you're in that relationship is it because you are afraid of being alone then it's called codependency and then it's going to be eh, 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 eh. I love that expression that I made up. It's like, it's going to be, mm, he did that and she did that and they said that and there's going to be uh, conditions. It's not a free relationship. We are human. I'm not judging this and I fall victim to this all the time. I'm as human as the next person, but I have the clarity to know that, um, you know, regarding cheating and also <clears throat> what I love to say is, and this is not the first time I've said this this morning, I uh, said this to, to a client, um, Byron Katie, to quote her, she says, you know, people will show you how they are. People let you know how they are. So don't be surprised if they show up again. Didn't they already show you how they were? They, they told you the truth by, for example, possibly saying, I'm a liar. I'm a liar. <laughs> They're obviously not saying to you, I'm a liar. I'm a liar. But they might do something that shows you, they show you who they are. They show you that they are capable of lying. That obviously for them, it's not something they, um, it's a value that's not uh, high on their list to be in integrity with themselves and in integrity with others. So um, uh, people of course can change, people make mistakes, absolutely, absolutely. But yeah, if you're in a relationship where lying has happened, um, you know, be honest with yourself and think, well, why am I still staying in that relationship then? Why am I still here? Why am I still accepting this? What, why don't I value myself to realize enough is enough and have the courage to be in integrity with yourself and value yourself enough to leave? Why not? Because it's scary. Love is an addiction just like alcohol, just like drugs. But that path alone, although it will have dark moments, can be very, very fulfilling because it gives you the opportunity to work on yourself. Actually, in this very um, park, I met an amazing uh, man yesterday, had a great conversation, and he told me, coincidentally, speaking of cheating, that um, 
his life fell uh, well he didn't say his life well yeah I guess he said his life fell apart because his wife uh, went off with another man and he said of course before he said it I knew it I kind of took the words out of his mouth like it was the best thing that ever happened to him at the time obviously he didn't know that because he was in hell but trust the pain trust the process um, he emerged from it a new man because he has, was forced to go on an inner journey and work on himself and bring himself out of that so these things can be a great gift as uh, annoying as that might sound because it's in those moments that you're forced to go inside and um, work on yourself well it's a choice but you know I, I would take I would that's what I would choose to work on myself to work on my self-worth work on my self-love join my glad program you've got six dedicated weeks to working on the things that will bring you um, groundedness love connection abundance I've talked about it in my video two of ten more in depth go there and uh, tune in and um, if you're going through a hard time book in with me privately as well get the three private sessions that's an option to release and let go of the painful things that are holding you back so oh Pat good morning I just saw Mabel oh my god Pat has uh, Pat uh, followed her dream and bought a camper van and traveled around and her camper van is called Mabel and I just saw on Facebook and I just love to see it just yeah you know that's an example of just going for it and if you go back to my video one today I'm doing 10 videos today <laughs> hey if you want me to talk about something tell me tell me and I'll just riff on it I'll just talk about anything random um, because uh, yeah I need subject matter I have a few ideas I'm gonna bring on a guest later today a special guest <sighs> he doesn't know it yet but I might do that one on my Facebook group come join my Facebook group called rise up and love your life um but yeah um yeah pat, pat, what pat did is an example of just like well rocking the boat to an extent just doing something like just yes i only live once and this is what i'm gonna do so um go for it don't do sensible do what lights you up that's my message and um don't cheat and don't allow yourself to be cheated on more than once in my in my humble opinion and again i can't judge no that's actually i shouldn't say that because jesus people um I, I take that back <laughs> you know there's there's people who who get over that and and move on but you know if you move on to a deeper more connected relationship where you're both willing to talk through it um, then it can be something really good that brings more depth to the relationship but if it's not bringing that depth and you're still in a lot of fear then let it go have a relationship with you sending love Send me some ideas for video number four. <laughs>